Our next presentation is real-time graphics in Pixar film production. It's going to be presented by Dirk Van Gelder. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be on stage with all this great real-time graphics that you're going to see tonight. Now, I'm going to start out with um, some final, frame, final rendered frames from Finding Dory. Um, each of these frames takes dozens of hours to compute. And our artists do a lot of presentations about what it takes to generate these pixels. But what we don't talk about is what it takes to what the artists see, the real-time pixels that the artists see while they're working. So I'm going to start this out by showing you, um, by loading that same shot into USD view. Now check out how fast this loads. What I just loaded was, we're looking at 80,000 meshes being drawn with 52 million polygons, all at real-time frame rates. Now what's happening here is our, open so our, our USD architecture is streaming all of this geometry off disk and loading it into memory, including this grass simulation, and then the Hydra OpenGL render that's integrated into, into USD is then drawing all of this geometry in real time. Now, we're not just blasting images. Hydra is drawing all of this geometry at whatever we're seeing down here. We're seeing 60 frames per second, Hydra drawing all of this geometry. I want to try one more thing. Let's load this again. How fast does this take to load? Let's count it off. One, two, three. Three seconds for 52 million polygons which I think is pretty good. But the, the best thing about what you're seeing right now is that all of the source code for everything that you're seeing, Universal Scene Description and Hydra, was open sourced by Pixar on GitHub today at lunch. Pixar has invested in a strong GPU team, and we have, we're a commitment to open source software, and everything here is open source. If you go to the website, graphics.pixar.com, over here, I think it's been updated today, but it'll have a link to the GitHub site, so please check it out. Um, USD is awesome. Now, I think this is all still working. I'm going to show you an integration of USD into a DCC app, in this case, our Presto animation system. So here, USD is reading all of that coral off disk and displaying it. Hydra is drawing everything that you see in front of you. And we've got a couple things we can highlight. For instance, we can turn off some of the lighting effects. Um, we can maybe move out here and turn off some of the depth of field, turn off hardware shading, turn off some of the ambient occlusion. Now, this doesn't feel interactive. It doesn't feel underwater. It feels like a bunch of hard plastic, and it's hard to sort of feel like you're immersed, if I may say so inside the shot that you're trying to do. So if you turn on depth of field, now you can see what your lens is trying to do. If we play, you can see the real-time caustics and lighting effects that really make it feel like it's underwater. Now let me jump here to another shot. I can highlight this coral. Uh, we do render man renders and capture those pixels and blast them onto, um, onto OpenGL textures so that you can see real-time displacement. And then maybe if I come out here and show you Dory, now this is Dory, and you can see all the specular highlights on her mouth. We've got, uh, we've got um, uh, bump mapping and a bunch of things, but this is not uh, static geometry. You can pose her in real time in our animation system at 30 frames per second. Now it's important to be able to see kind of what these surfaces are doing. You know, you can go in here and change your eye line, and you can move her brows around. You want to see kind of what the skin is doing and how that's responding by using that real-time shading. I want to show you one more guy. You'll probably recognize this guy. This is, again, in Presto. These are the full production rigs, um, so we're not skimping on any of the formers to do a demo here. This is what an animator would use at Pixar. Now we have uh, three specular lobes in physically-based GLSL. We've got displacement, color, all of these things to help people understand what that car it looks like. I don't want to look at like some smooth plastic surface. I want to take that character and make him smile and be able to see what a shiny car would do. Oh, that's not a smile. There we go. <laughs> hey. Um, you can make him look angry. You can pull him down into mad face, pull up the jaw, maybe bump out a sneer, pull out the lower lip and make him look mad. This is animation at Pixar. This is 60 frames per second, physically based GLSL, full production rigs in Presto. And I also think when you go back to work on Monday, please take a look at Universal Scene Description. It's awesome. It's free. It's fast. Download it. Check it out. Thank you.
Thank you, Dirk. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, back to reality. <laughs>